glioblastoma is the most common malignant tumor of the brain. But in comparison to other cancers that are out there, it's pretty rare. I think it's estimated that three out of every 100,000 people are diagnosed with it in the United States each year. Usually the symptoms are related to the location in the brain where the tumor is located. So if the tumor is located in the part of the brain that controls your language, then you might have trouble reading, writing, speaking. Headache as the only presenting sign of a tumor, especially a glioblastoma, is exceptionally rare. The way to diagnose it is with an MRI of the brain with and without the contrast dye. If you can remove the tumor, the brain is much less irritated. There's less pressure there and people can absolutely improve afterwards with removing that. The first step is what we call maximally safe resection, meaning you take out as much as you can of the tumor safely. We want to keep your functioning good, speaking the same if not better afterwards. There are a lot of different techniques that can be used at the time of surgery, such as a weight craniotomy, where you stay awake and they test you during the surgery. I know that sounds scary, but people really do very well with it and it allows them to do testing to make sure that no harm is being caused by surgery. And people come out of surgery doing very well after that. But I think it's important to have someone who has seen this diagnosis a lot. Again, it's rare. So you want to be seen, at least initially, in treatment recommended by a center that sees this, that has a neuro-oncologist that really specializes in this to at least get you going on your plan. We have a lot of where we'll meet people initially, they get the treatment locally, and then they see us with each MRI, and they just have the MRI sent to us, and we do a video visit, show them the MRI and say, yeah, you're on track, things are working, keep going, or no, we need to change gears. I have hope day to day in that my patients will do as best as they can with the disease and will get them through it with the support that they need.